Okay, I've got her teaching textbooks three grade book open, so you can kind of see the way the scores are. And this is, let's see, she's on lesson, she just finished 63. So if I click on that, it shows me exactly how many attempts she had, if she needed to view the solution. Um, so if we go back to the lessons, let's look at the lesson that she did. Oops, sorry, textbook. Lesson 63. This is how it works. Multiplying by eight. In the last lesson, we talked about multiplying by six. And so in this lesson, we're going to learn how to multiply by eight. And the bad news is the eight facts are even tougher than the six facts. But there isn't anything that I can do about it. Sorry. I'm going to start out by showing you a list of all the facts for multiplying by 8. Now, one thing to notice about this is the end. Okay, so it just gives you an idea of like kind of what his voice sounds like, and you can see how it's interactive and it's engaging. I love the, the way it looks. They can switch their little character guy up here. Um, now, if you go, this is the lecture part. And even during the lecture, there's interactive portions. Um, so then, and then there's practice problems. And see, she's already done this. So eight times eight, you enter your answer down there and you click check it. And it shows you right away. So you can see, like I said, she's already done this. So, okay, and this is another place I wanted to show you that there is cyclical review constantly. And I love, love that. So even though this is a lesson about multiplication, you can see that she's still got her um, long addition there. Let's see what the next one is. Yep, missing digits. Yeah, so it takes her back. Um, she didn't really have an opportunity to uh, forget what she's already learned. So you can see, uh, see how to do it. <coughs> Excuse me. And if you see how to do it, you can click yes and it'll show you how to do it. So it just gives you an idea of what the lessons look like. It's really, really cool. Um, and all three of my kids love it. I wanted to give you a little peek into how I have assisted her on some of the concepts that were a little tricky. Um, and then she would, this is one of the ways we review. It's very simple. If she was getting hung up on something that she learned in her math, I made her a little sticky note and to remind her of what like she was having trouble with certain doubles facts up there you can see and odds and evens and um just different things that uh place value horizontal and vertical lines how to name an angle um and then so she knows she can glance at them if she needs to and she also has this awesome skip counting chart um and there's a multiplication thing in here that these are from yolantha at homeschoolcreations.net and I encourage her, my daughter, to use these if she needs to. So like if she's doing a lesson and she's having a hard time with them to keep her moving, since we haven't actually memorized them all yet, she can refer to these as a resource um, while she's working. So that has really, really helped a lot too. The other component of teaching textbooks is actually the work, the book. Um, you can see it's pretty, pretty thick. And the table of contents, which you can see um, in the post, I've got it listed out. But um, one of the common questions I got about teaching textbooks three was about multiplication. And you can see, um, I guess if you pause the video and stare at the, the pages, but it shows up what is multiplication in 53. You've got multiplication basics. And then you get into the, each lesson here, all the way down. Um, and it, it just keeps going. So it gives a very good kind of chunk in the middle. So we've got, yeah, there's the first set of lessons, second. And so it comes about here, which is where we're at right now. Right now we're right here. And you can see she'll finish up the year um, with all of this. Um, I don't worry one bit if we don't do 61 and then 62 and then 63. If we take a day off to do some supplemental stuff, that's totally fine with me. How I use the book is I have this open if she needs help so that I don't have to hover over the top of her. I did this a lot in the beginning when she first started because it gives me the problem so she can say I'm on you know unit such and such and number six and then I can look at it and that way I can give her the verbal help that she needs. So I don't have to do that as much anymore. She's pretty independent but um, there's a peek into the book. 
All right, let's take a peek at the, um, this is the lesson plan sheet that I made for us just to have something to go by. And each week when her lesson planning is done, so we use um, Lesson Trek. You can see her, her lesson plans in here. Um, she records her scores or I record them as she does them. And then at the end of the week, when I'm done less, like getting ready to lesson plan for the next week, I record all of her scores just so that I have them all in one place. Over here, you can see I just wrote down like the general ideas of things that she'll be introduced to each unit so that if I want to pull any supplemental resources, I can. So this you can download in the post. Um, so if you happen to be using uh, Teaching Textbooks 3 and want to use this, this is all the lessons laid out and where the quizzes come so that you can record the grades.